Good afternoon, guys. Get ready to take this load over to Dad's. Hope we make it all in one piece. It looks pretty good, but you never know until you get going down the road. And we're gonna get going. Cade is gonna ride with me to the end of the driveway and then get on the lawnmower with Mommy and help her mow while I'm gone. Right, Cade? Thumbs up, dude. All right. Got left. 55 bales. Roll out. Roll out. Look at those rigs there. 1032 New Holland stacking on 6150 Lloyd's Alice and the 326 New Holland Baylor on the 1650 Diesel Hall. determined that the cigarette lighter in dad's tractor is bad we got power going to it but nothing coming out of it so uh, my next trip over i'm going to uh, bring some other terminal ends and we'll pull power from somewhere else inside the cab uh, but for this right here we're not gonna be able to rotate the grapple uh, so as of now i have yet to be able to rotate my rotating grapple <laughs> but uh we will be able to sometime so we're gonna go ahead and unload it like it is i use it all last year like this so it will work it's just easier getting in areas if you can rotate it because you can go, go in at an angle and square it up and all that good stuff and tie things together crisscross them but let's see how we do here we've got a bale of hay on the back because this grapple is heavy right dad yeah it's heavy it'd be heavier if you put 10 bale of hay on yeah especially once we get some hay on there you might wish you had two round bales on there <laughs> Surely it'll be all right. Them round bells are dry. They ain't, they ain't real heavy. Yeah. Well, luckily we're just going nice and slow and stacking in the barn, not bouncing across the field. There's load on edge, five high. Here we go. They lifted it. I can definitely tell there's some weight there. Way, way out there is the problem. It's not a problem, but that's why it seems like so much. I'll have to back up and jack around again to get squared up with the wall over here. Again, this is why the rotating grapple was such a nice idea. Dad may rotate it by hand here. Let's see if he can. Oh, yeah. That'll be good. That'll work better if he can rotate it by hand. Ta-da! I can already tell you the tractor is much nicer than the skid steer. Simply from a from a visibility standpoint you're far enough away you know on a bucket being close with the skid steer is a is a benefit but being too close to a really tall stack of hay is really really difficult makes it really difficult to see so I definitely prefer the tractor by a long shot not even close all right guys so we've gotten three layers in the barn and we're making pretty good progress. Uh, this barn is obviously not really built for this. All the way in the back, we got some braces in there that makes it hard to go much higher. But we're gonna actually turn, rotate this thing by hand, tie this on, 
which will actually in turn I think make it easier to uh, get it in there so I got it all the way picked to one end we're gonna rotate that thing 90 degrees so I can get all the way to that one and then uh, on the other end I'm gonna pick it on that far end we'll rotate it again so this fourth layer we're gonna actually do a tie and we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees he's gonna rotate it right now I think if we can that we got the trailer unloaded I want to park the tractor and then we're gonna head back to the house and get the remaining 55 deep seven or eight bales that means a bale or two and we'll bring it back over here and get them in the barn that way all that will be done uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we don't want to lolly yet. That's all she wrote. Alright. We're going to get her loaded. I'm going to set up a time lapse here. And get rolling before we get started. Loaded up and headed back down the road with a partial load. <laughs> All right, we made it to Dad's. Uh, I got 57 bales on here. I believe. Yeah. It's actually 56. I threw one off. One had a green chunk in it, so that'll probably end up feeding that to the calves. Here is the stack we got going so far. The stack goes pretty well, really. We don't normally stack when we're stacking by hand we don't stack on edge because it just doesn't stack as well but stacking with a machine it seems to stack pretty good really hmm? if it's where you can get to it yeah. so letting dad run the tractor with the grapple first time ever running the grapple at all and it definitely takes a lot of getting used to okay put it right in here which is going to be difficult because this door oh he did move the door a little bit but it's just really tight in here that opening's tight it's hard to get the tractor over far enough <clears throat> it's really hard to do if you didn't have somebody guiding you because it's hard to see it's getting a little bit dark in here and it's just, it's just really tight now layer number four we're going to rotate them of course i got to do I'm out here helping him. I'm gonna rotate it by hand because, again, we don't have, uh, I, I was gonna bring it way to rig up power, but by the time I got done doing that, it'd be almost dark, and we might as well just get it going here. All right, guys, we've got successfully four layers in here, which is saying a lot for where we're working with here. We can easily get probably five to six, easily five, maybe six, depending on where the loader arms are when we get up that high and the, the header on the building. But uh, what we're gonna do now is he's just gonna set me 10 up here 
just gonna pull in straight right here drop me off 10 I'm gonna stack them up in here they'll get me another 10 and uh, that'll be just about it we made it home successfully got everything put in the barn over at dad's and uh i'm calling it a night so thank you so much for watching again this is ross with franklin county forge uh god bless you god bless america franklin county forge out